What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Big Ben with Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people. We are back. We're back with a new review on something quite nice. It's been out a couple of weeks, but I gotta say, quite impressive for an AIO. Today, people, we are taking a gander at the Vandy Vape Kylan M AIO. That's right, people, AIO. And we're doing things a little different today since there's so much to show you with just the packaging contents. We're gonna do the dive up close, me talk live and explain and show things to you like I used to do old school without the B-roll. So we're gonna do that and let me let me know what you think at the end of the video. Do you, you like that? You like the old school variant? We're doing it old school, all right, damn it. But this thing is pretty fucking neat. And it might have the most accessories I've ever seen come in any package. There's a lot of shit in the package here, people. But what this is, this is a single 18650 70 watt pod slash rebuildable slash thing. <laughs> okay. It's available in a multitude of finishes. This was sent over to me from the good homies over at MyV Pro. And I've seen it online for sale for about 50 to 70 buckaroos. Okay. Anyway. That's what's going on with this guy. It's got a waterproof PCB and everything. You don't have to worry about it shorting out with a little bit of dampness. All this other stuff. It's pretty neat. And it's fucking now that I'm holding it's pretty fucking solid. If I hurt somebody, beat somebody to death with this motherfucker. Just, ah, get off me. Stop trying to rape me. Or, you know, I don't know. Whatever happens. But anyway, uh, I kind of told you what's going on here. You guys kind of get a good idea of what's happening. Now, the only thing that's left to do, people, is to dive up close. And we're going to do that right now. All right, people, and here we are up close with the Kylan M AIO. Now, I did this up close. Usually, you know, I voice over or, you know, just talk about the stuff and show you B-roll. But there's so much shit in here. We got to do this like this, people. We got to go old school with it and break it down piece by piece, brick by brick. I got to say, the finish that they achieved on here is pretty cool. You can't really see how it is on the light, but you can kind of see. Here's the other one. Look kind of cool, look kind of cool. But anyway, let me show you all the shit in here, people. All right, so you got your guy, right? And it's got the RBA pod in it. See those little fucking brass pipe shaped things going on there? Well, fucking, you go over here, you got your pre-installed coil pod, and you can use that on either one or... or you look over here, you got your pre-installed coil pod right here. Got a coil in there, I think it's point .3, something like that, mesh. But anyway, that guy's in there. And then you got this little fucking guy. And this is peculiar. And this is some interesting stuff. You need this to pull out the pod in case you're doing... I'll show you in a little bit. It's it's a whole thing. It makes sense, though. They thought that out. It was pretty smart. But anyway, there's all that shit, right? Now, now as we open this up, we're going to see a lot of stuff in here, people. They might have the record for the most included shit in one package. So you got some cotton, right? Some laces. You got... A USB-C charging cable. That's right. That's what I like to see. We got a fucking mesh roller thingy, screws, O-rings. You have a single coil. That's right, people. You can do mesh. You can do a coil, or you can do pre-built coils. This thing does it all. Uh, you got all that shit in there. You got your point three ohm mesh coil. <laughs> this is a lot of shit. You have your fucking little cut guide right here to get your leads the same length. And fuck me. You even got some stainless steel rope. Yeah, this gets used with the mesh. Kind of like the idea they use on their other thing. But yeah, stainless steel rope. And last but not least, four different kinds of mesh strips. Holy shit. This is a lot of stuff, bro. That's a lot of shit they're giving you in one package. It's a whole, whole bunch. Whole bunch. So yeah, fuck me. That is all of the packaging contents. And uh, shit, now we got to use them. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna focus on the box thing a little bit here, right? You know, you got a button. You got Kylin right here. Some venting down bottom, pretty standard stuff. You got this guy, you pop this tip off, put another tip on if you want it. It's got adjustable airflow up there, then bam! Waterproof PCBA, that's right, this thing's waterproof, people. The board, the PCB board is waterproof, but check that out. Single 18650 with a nice little ribbon. It's labeled in there, it's just kind of hard to see, black on black positive side up you got your screen here USB-C charging port it looks like a little face with the eyes ah, why are you stressed out right now up and down button screen all that good shit and then we got this guy see how that pops out now see with this top on here which that pops off as you can see this even pops off I can fucking 
There we go. All that pops off, right? And you can set up your deck. This shit's crazy. It's very over-engineered in my opinion. But um, you got all these pieces. So let's say you're building a coil or mesh, right? You need to you need to fire this thing up. If you just pop it in like so, oh no, how am I gonna grab it? Am I gonna grab the hot coil, deform my coil? No, we're not gonna do any of that. What we're gonna do is take this fucking tool I was showing you guys earlier, huh? Huh? Eh, eh. Look at that. Stick that on there. Put that in, right? That's in there. Preheat your coil use this to pull it out that's some smart thinking that was some pretty good thing they made a tool just to pull your pot out because you got a thing in it huh how the fucking look at son of a motherfucker and this thing too while we're at it these contacts you could take all this out and take this thing completely apart and clean it which is very convenient a little feel flap on here both of them have it but uh yeah that's pretty cool that you can disassemble this entire thing if you want it but uh, yeah, pretty simple system here. People, we got clamps, a little springy ceramic piece, just like a uh, shout out to the profile. First one to do that. And then uh, we just unscrew it, put our mesh in. You gotta put those fucking steel rods in. It's a lot of shit, it's a lot of stuff going on. So like, I would just do the regular coil, but fuck, we know how like regular Clapton coils and stuff go. Plus I like the flavor on mesh. So we're gonna get the roller out. We're gonna get some fucking mesh strips and we're gonna, um, we're gonna fucking put them, we're gonna put them in this thing. We're going to put them in this thing, and I think it's going to be pretty good. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that all set up, and we'll get going. Now, I'm going to take this other one and fill it up with the same juice. Uh, this is, uh, and, and we'll vape the mesh. We'll swap them out. We'll vape them back and forth, see what we like. And um, something else I was going to tell you about all this is the damn ass um, shit. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, and just so you know, uh, it's five mil capacity if you're using the RBA and only two and a half mil capacity if you're using the coil. So keep that in mind. You can take all this shit out too. Wanna pop this fucking coil out? Yeah, bam. Yeah, there it is. There's your little mesh. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got some mesh. Got some stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, now we can get down to brass tacks. Let's go ahead and build this fucker up real quick and see what we got. All right, people, I think I settled on the SS316L M coil. We're gonna, oh, fun, son of a bitch. Okay, I dropped this, fine. But I just wanna show you what coil we're gonna use to do this shit. Now, the only thing a little complicated here is when you go to build this thing, let's say you wanna sit it in here, maybe just kinda use this as a build deck, you can't get to that screw to tighten things up, so you kinda just gotta hold it or sit it down, I don't know. Fucking either way, what we need to do is fucking grab this thing. Oh, damn it, focus, you son of a bitch. There we go. This bar here. You can form the mesh to the bar. You see that? Fuck yeah. All right, that bitch is on. That's, oh, okay. Well, deformed a little bit with my hands. And now, all you gotta do is take her and drop her in there. Oh, fuck me. Uh, no. Take her and drop her in there. Huh? Oh, okay. That's not even, that's not even where it's supposed to. Oh my God. Fuck. See, that's why I edit because I don't have to, my hands are so big. And this shit is so small. Now fucking go there, there. There. There you go, you son of a bitch. Okay, little, 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 little bent, but this is fine. There. Now you fucking, where, where did my screwdriver go? Oh, there's that little blue son of a bitch. Come here, you cocksucker. So now that I've done that, well, you know, you don't have to be too precise. But you just want to kind of get her where she needs to be. Oh, fuck you. Oh, oh. see, holding this in my hand and doing it. It's not, it's not ideal. All right, and then we just tighten this side and yay, we did it. Look at that. Look at that. I'm proud of us. Let me put my bar back in there for posterity. Oh, that's not gonna, oh, maybe it will if I fucking, you know what, that's fine. This is this is all fine. This is all fine. Okay, so now check me out. Here's my, here's my scenario, right? I take, Take this thing, all right? Fucking go ahead, uh, chunk her in. Go ahead and uh, chunk her in there like so. Huh? Yeah, you like that? Okay. Now, fucking. Oh shit! I need a battery. Hold on one second. I knew I forgot something. All right, people, we got everything going. We just got this at 20 watts right now. We just want to kind of get everything, everything glowing nice. Bump it up just a hair. I don't know the screen's doing the stuff. 
I'll fix it when I show you the screen. All right, that, that seems fine. That, that all seems fine. So now guess what? A full bam. Yeah, that's kind of cool in a way. That little fucking little attachment is pretty smart. But okay, we heated it up a little bit. Now we just got to get some cartoon in there. And you know what? I bet I can leave it in for that part. Yeah, yeah. We can actually... No, no, no. Fuck, I need to take it out. Oh, no! I stuck it back in without the tool. Oh. Um. Fucking... Maybe I can just do like... Aha! Huh? Ends up you didn't need that tool after all. Look at that. Uh, got it right back out with a little persuasion from the little blue screwdriver. Okay, now we need to get some cotton, stick it in there, and do a whole thing. All right, people, peep the technique. We got a shoelace, right? So we just got to go. Oh, no. Wait, before I do this, let me put the fucking steel cables in there. Shit, I forgot about those. Here, let me, let me fucking hold on. All right, so we're going to take this like so. Come on, fucker, get in there. Yeah, there we go. Since they're twisted, it helps if you twist them a little bit. Hey, I'm twisted. I said the I said the thing. All right, so let's take this one. Uh, come on, motherfucker. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Get in there. Get in there, you sons of bitches. All right, we'll take this one. Come on. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, one left. This one's going to be the tr problem child. I'm willing to bet. No, bam! Look at that. Fucking, we got all of them. That looks kind of cool though. Just chilling. You got the little brass contrast right there with the silver. Kind of dope. Kind of dope. Sorry, all that shit's in there. Now we can add cartoon. Now where was I? You fucking, you take this. Uh, ugh, there you go. Push it through there. Ah 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 ah. Motherfucker. Okay, well, this is fine. See, this is why I don't. This is why. I, fuck it, we're doing it live. We're doing it. Give me a second. Fuck me. All right. All right. All right. All right. I had to do it off screen real quick, but damn it. There it is. So, these little fucking. Let me make sure those are pushed all the way down. These little steel pipes, steel cables. This is an old trick from back in the day with vaping. They act as wicking, a little wicking sticks. And they fucking, I just want to make sure everything's fucked down. Now, it feels like I got too much cotton steel, but I don't know. For this shit, for this shit in particular that we're doing, that might be good. But I'm probably going to trim it down a little. Fuck, where are my scissors? I was not prepared for this. <clears throat> All right, now, if I know anything about these things, you got to go like something like that. And then we're going to go fucking, I don't know, take some of that off, I guess. Oh, that's still way too much. One side usually always is. All right, so like, well, oh, fuck me. That's not a lot of room. Okay, we're going to cut way more cotton off, people. There we go. Now we're starting to look like something. So, my thought process is telling me to cut a little bit more. Then we'll wet it and we'll tuck it, kind of, the best we can. This is still a lot of fuck ton of cotton. I guess too much is, you know, never enough when it comes to mesh. And we're just getting a nice little, looks like an arrow now. Nice little fucking, I don't know. Let me, hold on. Once I add juice, it'll be a lot easier. Hold on. You know what? We're going to call that done. So we're going to take some of this uh, off the record loops and stuff. I did a review on this stuff the other day. Been meaning to vape it. So we're going to, we're going to wet all this shit up. That's the best move I can think of right now, people. Gonna get some juice in here. And what the juice is going to do is going to allow it to compress and deform and lay down. So we're just fucking, eh, just start tucking it with the bottle. Actually, there we go. There you go. There you go. Fucking there we are. Look at this. This is fucking science right now, people. You guys don't even know what you're witnessing. All right, fucking get in there, you piece of shit. There we go. Now we're looking good. So we just, if I can keep painting this cotton, keep tucking it. Oh, this looks absolutely horrible. This is going to be fine. Though. I think this is going to vape really good, actually. Anyway, I'm going to speed this up. I'll be right back. Oh, fucking, how the fuck the bottle? Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. So anyway, here we are, people. Now I'll just take this, uh, do like so, and vo-bam. Look at that shit, huh? We're fucking professional vapors now. Okay. Damn it. Stay, stay focusing, you cocksucker. What is your problem? You're being a real cocksucker to stay. Okay. So now we can just fucking 
feel this bad boy up. I really should have had my macro lens out for this. Or actually better angles. There we go. Look at that. Look at how much clearer everything is now. I'm a fucking idiot. Alright, so bam. Ba bam. A ba ba bam. A ba ba bam. Uh, come on, get in there, you son of a whore. Fill it up. Oh yeah. Fill it up like the slut you are. Five mils is a lot. So uh, that's done. That's a done deal. So yeah, like I was telling you earlier on this thing, it drip tip. Pop it out. Put anything else you want on there. Stick this on here, and guess what? You can control your airflow. Yeah, like that. Okay, people. So now that I did that, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna fucking sit it in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit it in. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna sit it right in there. Oh, um, why are you not going in? Okay, I'm glad I caught this. Something I need to mention. This thing isn't perfectly square. You see this this curved edge right here? This all goes back on a certain way. You don't put it on right, it doesn't go back in there. But if you do put it on right, you're rewarded with fitting. Just like a so bam <laughs> so yeah watch that thing now those curves they had to do curves and things to make stuff fit so make sure you put the top cap back on properly or it won't go back in that can be very frustrating so cool right but um damn it i guess i showed you most of the stuff we showed you that setup um uh, with this other one you know you just fucking yeah, put some juice in it and that's that's about all you got to do but with that one we showed you how to set it up people now let me show you the screen real quick and then we'll be done and we can talk about it all right, people, so this is pretty simple. Five clicks on and off, right? One, two, three, four, five, off. One, two, three, four, five, bandy vape. And you know, it's a, it, I don't mind this. This is such a small screen. I don't mind that it's grayscale. But uh, yeah, man, it goes up to 70 watts. So you got that going on. And really the only other thing is when you press it, it shows you how long you're vaping. And um, you can change the coil, set it up for new. Now you can flip the screen. That's about all, people. That's all you really need to see, though. You got a battery bar, your resistance, your wattage, and your voltage. It's really not much, uh, much of fuck. I'm, I'm, I can't speak today. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But uh, yeah, you just fucking turn it up and down, and then when you're done adjusting it, you just fucking chunk that plate back on, and we're good to go. So that's how you set up the Colin M. That's all the stuff it comes with. I'm gonna fill this tank up as well we're gonna vape them side by side and i'll let you guys know what i think all right we'll be back out to the normal view in just a second all right people that was a lot of stuff wasn't it that was a lot of stuff and now here we are we've showed you everything we showed you how it works only thing i forgot to mention that there are little windows on the side to where you can see your liquid level that's the only thing i forgot up close okay but anyway we got two of them here right one with the RBA, one with the .3 ohm mesh. We're gonna vape on them, talk about them, and tell you what I think, okay? First and foremost. Getting down like a champ. So, the uh, the RBA base, the way they got it set up, they got all those different mesh coils and everything. The way I got it set up, it's vaping pretty good. I'm only at about 45 watts, but it's vaping pretty good. It's vaping pretty damn good, especially for something pretty pocketable. Like I said, it's heavy, but it is pocketable. This is rebuildable in your pocket. Regular coil, mesh coil, uh, fucking mesh coil, sub ohm, doesn't matter. It does it all. Now this guy, I think we got it at 25, yeah, 25 watts on this mesh, probably bump it up, but we're just, we're just testing right now, people. Mmm, pretty damn good. Vaping like a champion, vaping like a damn champion. Let's talk about this, people. I think this is very ambitious coming from old Vandy Vape. There's a lot here. Single 18650 removable and chargeable battery with USB-C charging. Big fan, big fan. Everything looks pretty neat too. You can take these tanks completely apart, clean them. You got a really ambidextrous situation going on here. You can do a lot. You don't feel like rebuilding? Chunk a mesh coil in that bitch. You wanna rebuild because you ran out of coils? 
Fucking rebuild that bitch. Stuff some cotton and some mesh in there or a regular Clapton coil. It doesn't make a fuck. I gotta say, this is a really, really good concept. And as far as how it vapes, 70 watts, you don't need that for anything that you can put in here. But you got a little bit of overhead just in case. Maybe you like to party. But I gotta say, the, the, the mesh steel rope is wicking. A uh, mesh steel. The steel braided cable is wicking. Everything's pulling through. Uh, this seems to be a pretty good system. I can't complain about much here. What can I complain about? Can't really complain about the screen. It's so damn tiny. I'm surprised there's even a screen in here. Airflow is stupendous. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I and mean, something I wanted to do: the top cap for the for the sub ohm has more airflow than the top cap for the mesh. So I'm gonna swap them real quick. Actually, they're made. They're supposed to be that way. It looks like. Man, we'll go ahead and. pretty awesome man it sucks you only have two and a half mils when you use the sub ohm coil which means you might be filling it more often but beyond that man i don't have much to bitch about these are kind of the perfect aios in my opinion they're really really good they're really heavy too solid pocketable i think i've explained myself here people they vape really well good flavor coming off this mesh coil really good flavor coming off the, the mesh mesh coil how do you say that even the mesh rebuildable either way you guys get what's going on kylan m aio is a go i like it i think it's pretty good okay i just wanted to say that because it rhymes it sounded pretty good kylan m was kind of good but anyway people that's what i got for you no links in the description because we can't do that anymore but you know vape sourcing my v pro and heaven gifts are the three websites i recommend but my v pro sent these over so i'm going to recommend them on top okay and that's what I got for you, folks. We're just going to chill out, you know what I mean? I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'm going to do some more streaming. Season 4, Call of Duty Warzone's been fun. We got two dubs yesterday. Start of the season. Felt good. If you're into Twitch, come follow my Twitch. Shameless plug is shameless. I don't give a shit. I'm trying to be a Twitcher. I'm a Twitcher now, people. No, I'm not a Twitcher. I'm just doing it for fun. It's a side gig. But anyway, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. Remember... <laughs> Doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, as long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies. That's what's important. And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube, from bubbles and twisted. <laughs>